Hello, fellow scientists. I am Dr. Brian Huggins, head researcher and owner of the Halls of Science. Come with me. Welcome to the Halls of Science. Here we are in the main library. Here to assist me as fellow researcher and owner of the library is, is Dr. Alex Walker. Brian, what's going on? Science video. Play along. Hello, boys and girls. High schoolers, Alex, high schoolers. Oh, hello, young men and women. Let's move on. Here at the Halls of Science, we study all kinds of science. Here, over here, you will see our physics experiment. Yeah. This is Doctor, this is Doctor Norbrock. He's been experimenting with um, perpetual motion. He's been going at it for three days now. Make it stop. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, oh, uh. Uh, here you go. Uh. 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 Moving on, over here, we have our biology department. As you can see here, we're, we're studying animals in... Wait, 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 what, what the heck is this thing? D uh, anyway, th this is, this is not the reason. We are doing this. Now on to our true experiment. Here is the lab. Where we study our best subject, chemistry. Here we have found two new elements that we will be experimenting with today and providing much knowledge for you. They are gold and iron. Iron's atomic number is 26. Iron's chemical symbol is Fe. Iron's atomic mass number is 55.845 AMU. Iron has 26 protons, 30 neutrons, and 26 electrons. Iron was discovered around 4000 BC by the Egyptians. Iron can be found all over the world. The origin of iron comes from the Latin word ferrum. Iron is obtained by digging it out of rock. Iron has a cubic crystal structure. Iron is a transition metal. Iron has four common isotopes, Fe54, Fe56, Fe57, and Fe58. Iron is a solid. Iron is a silvery color. Iron has no odor. Iron has no taste. There are about 5,630 milligrams per kilogram in Earth's crust. There are about 0 0.002 milligrams per liter in the ocean. Iron is commonly found with carbon, chromium, nickel, manganese, molybdenum, tungsten, and vanadium. Iron is used to make steel and paper clips. Iron combines with carbon to make steel. The discovery of iron led to the Iron Age. Gold's atomic number is 79. Gold's chemical symbol is AU. Gold's atomic mass number is 196.9665 AMU. Gold has 79 protons, 118 neutrons, and 79 electrons. Gold was discovered around 3000 BC. Gold can be found all over the world. The origin of gold comes from the English word geolo, which means yellow. Gold is obtained by digging it out of rock. Gold has a cubic crystal structure. Gold is a transition metal. Gold has six common isotopes. AU-194, AU-195, AU-196, AU-197, AU-198, and AU-199. Gold is a solid. Gold is a shiny yellow color. Gold has no odor. Gold has no taste. There are about 0 .004 milligrams per kilogram in Earth's crust. There are about 0 0.000004 milligrams per liter in the ocean. Gold is commonly found with silver, lead, zinc, and copper. Gold is used to make electronics, jewelry, coins, tableware, and dental alloys. Now we will be running some tests to show the properties of iron and gold. First, the heat test. Lighting the fire.
it seems that gold melts at 1064 degrees Celsius. And it would seem that iron melts at 1535 degrees Celsius. Good science. Now, on to the conductivity test. Now Tyler will demonstrate the conductivity of the two elements. Tyler. As you can see by this test, gold is a very good conductor of uh is a very good conductor, but iron is slightly better. And now to test malleability. Our wonderful cameraman, Eric Kenyon. Er Eric will show you how the raw ore found in the earth is smelted down into a nearly pure form of iron and gold, then used to create tools. On to you, Eric. Okay, so, as you see here, iron and gold are found in the earth, more commonly an igneous rock, but for our scientific demonstration, we had a vein planted here. Once mined, you can take the ores and smelt them into a, po in a powerful furnace or forge. Once melted, or as an ingot, it can be used to make tools, such as this pickaxe. Iron is a stronger material than gold, so it makes for better tools. Back to you, Brian. Good science, Eric. Well, this concludes our tour of the Halls of Science. I hope you all enjoyed the visit as much as we did. What are you talking about? I didn't enjoy this at all. As much as we all did. Right, Alex? Fine. I hope you all learned a lot from this experience, and we hope to see you all soon for another test day at the Halls of Science. Goodbye. See ya. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.